MTB Cribs 2.0. MTB Cribs 2.0. I guess so. With Tony. So uh, basically, uh, what I want to do is kind of show you what the facility looks like on a 360 level. So we've already done a facility tour when we first moved here. Well, since we moved here, we've done some rearranging and added some stuff, took away some stuff. So just basically want to uh, start from scratch and do 2.0 facility tour. And uh, that's what you're about to see. You walk in the door. Um, Thing you'll notice is tinted glass. A couple reasons for that. One, my privacy. But if you come up, I can see you and you can't see me. But it also keeps the red heat out so that uh, the temperature in here is way more constant. So if you have sun beaming in through a window or a door, this area around there is going to be much hotter than the rest of your room. So keep that in consideration. Um, I didn't have the issue with it, but I didn't want an issue with it, so... Fix it before it comes an issue. There you go. My American flag, um, we know what that is, we know what it should stand for. America. So, yeah. Um, 12 gauge behind the American flag, just in case. So, see, uh, I did not clean in here before this, I've just been busy. Uh, see, TV, TV's newly added. Uh, mount a fan on the wall to keep it up off the ground. Uh, backup electric heat. All the supplies, shipping crap. Just, it's a mess right now. I uh, apologize, but it is what it is. So. Side note, did anyone ever figure out what that was? Yes. Okay, so congratulations to you smart people who actually knew what that was. Yep. And I'm still looking for a fish tank, so. Yeah, we're, yeah. 35 gallon. Plus. Plus. Tall, maybe three foot wide. No longer, I mean, no wider. No three. wider than three foot. Help a brother out. Messages. Still needing it. So, next up, uh, baby rack. So, if you'll remember, we had two baby racks, which now one is over there. Over there. And we moved it because this is the only one that I've been using. So either. We sell out before I need the other one, or the older ones are already in a bigger tub before. So basically, I haven't had to use the second rack that I've had for two years now. But I need it in case I need it. It is what it is. It is. Uh, we moved the baby rack closest to the sink because guess what? This is where the majority of your cleaning does. The babies use the bathroom quite regularly. They make a mess in their tubs. So having your baby rack closest to your sink is top priority. So, my trusty toolbox. She comes in handy. This is where everything gets filmed on. <laughs> it is, uh, it's been used for a lot of videos and pictures. So, incubator, um, just, just happened to work out in this location. No particular reason why we moved it here. It just fit. So, this rack here would be the rack that we use for stuff for sale. Once it outgrows the, the patchland rack, it comes here. So, all this stuff is for sale unless it has somebody's name on it. So everything for sale is on this wall. Nothing else in the room is for sale. And uh, it just keeps it simple that way. Whole back rack. So this is all of my whole backs from last year. I keep the males up top, females down below. Just uh, makes it simple that way. I keep all my males in this rack. So 50-40, um, 
there's a couple of females down here on the bottom, but majority of these are only males. And this. Oh, look at that! Is the other part of the hatchling ring. That's right. So that concludes two of the four walls. There you go. So let's go back to the door. So now, if you come in and go to your left, stage right, if you will. Stage left. Stage left, even. All right. So what we have is two 5040s side by side. So these 5040s, I'm not getting into what they are. You go check it out. Yeah. So all these are girls. There's a 70 series. It's, it's actually a 33 because it's 11 high. They come standard 10 high. There's an additional level up here. Uh, so 33 tubs of 70 series here all girls again and then 55 40 um, all girls again this particular rack we're doing something a little bit different so as the girls ovulate I put them in this rack um, just trying something new uh, I think I've kind of touched on this before if all the girls that are expecting delay are right here that means that I can keep up with them better kind of in order type thing. So that's, there's a method to your madness for doing that? I don't really know how to explain it, but I have a reason for it. Uh, and we're going to try that. It may not work. Uh, we'll try to see. So, and then as y'all seen uh, on the last episode, <coughs> it's the newest edition that we've had. I've had it for a couple months, but it's been over at Craig's house. Um, 97, I guess this would be the 9704 because it's on four drawers. But there's only four drawers on it. Because, uh, sorry guys, I kept the other two drawers at my house. Crazy got the other two, so probably going to add like, one more level. Uh, yeah. Plus I need a male, so. I got to buy I got to buy a bottom one with a roller on it, so that, yeah. And then I'll just go ahead and get you another level, too. Well, so we'll be good to go. Yeah, back to the baby hatchling rack. So yeah. that's pretty much it. Um, the, doing it this way has allowed us to have this whole open area here. Uh, I kind of skipped over the trash can, too. But Dude, the trash can is the best thing. <laughs> platform to work off of with trash can in the middle. Provided you to dump the containers. Well, the trash can. also and, and uh, a few of our other friends and constituents that uh, film, they actually use the rolling trash can as their tripod. Oh yeah? Yeah. I ain't gonna say no names. <laughs> Shane Kelly. Uh, but uh, <laughs> he uses it as a tra as, as his tripod and he can spin things around. Oh. Comes in handy, man. Nice. So, anyway, uh, a couple people have asked about, you know, doing a 360 view. And that's kind of the way it looks. Um, I see this every day, so I know what it looks like. But a lot of people out there uh, don't have that first-hand experience with it. And they kind of wanted to see. So I'm going to remove myself from the room and let Craig do a 360 of it. And um, we'll see you all next week. Hardwired Exotics and make sure you subscribe.